Hello again, everyone. Uh, look, I just uh, encapsulated uh, the four charts uh, we created before into different functions yeah, in Python. Uh, make tree map, make icicle, and so on. They return a figure. And uh, definitely, yeah, I have this call. Uh, and I pass a figure to the ST plot light chart. Uh, nothing different, uh, nothing special. Uh, they all get as parameters, the uh, labels and parents, uh, exactly what we had before. And as usual, yeah, I launched uh, our uh, local web server with this new separate file. So it's uh, up four pi. Uh, the way uh, the charts are rendered are uh, one below the other, and uh, that's not very pleasing. Uh, is there a way to show them uh, one by one? Uh, let's see. Um, look, uh, in uh, Streamlit, you have something called uh, Expander. You can say uh, ST Expander, and uh, you can say, okay, this would be tree map. And uh, you can say with this Expander, okay, you will do this. And you separate whatever you have below. And uh, let's do this for uh, each of uh, the each of these charts. Uh, this will basically uh, create a collapsible pan panel. And uh, we'll see uh, how it goes. But first of all, let's finish uh, this uh, icicle. Sunburst. Okay, and uh, thank you. We do this, so I will click on only always rerun, and uh, you can see, yeah, definitely I can see uh, eventually one uh, chart at a time. Yeah, of course I can expand uh, more than one uh, panel. By default, they are uh, uh, they are collapsed. I can specify if uh, I want them by default uh, expanded. Let's say tree map, and uh, I can say you see here expanded. Uh, would be true and uh, yeah this uh, already refreshed I, I can refresh it again and uh, you see the first one is automatically expanded but uh, it's still not ideal what we can do as well and uh, ju just uh, Okay, until we do this uh, let's uh, do something different uh, this would be exp you you can pass into a variable the expander you create and then say uh, here specify the expander instead expander doi expander two so that's another way of doing this okay you can see let's refresh it just to make sure and uh, the icicle in our case yeah it's built the same way but here plot light chart yeah we call it from uh, the variable that we created before as an expander. So that's another way to do it. And uh, you'll see we have different containers, yeah, because these are containers, component containers that we create like this. Uh, these are the two different ways to call them. You either pass the created object to a variable and you can replace ST with that variable yeah, as a container, or you can say with with this expander so with this variable basically and automatically uh, this uh, output controls like this well will be rendered uh, within the current container but uh, there is uh, as i was saying uh, there is another way to do it uh, with uh, tab controls uh, you can say tabs uh, is st tabs Let's see okay and uh, here you can pass uh, an array of uh, page uh, page names and i'll have the same i will have a tree map i will have a icicle i will have some burst a burst okay and uh, i will have some key so in this case this will return an array of uh, four different tabs and uh, what i can say is uh, with uh, tabs zero You get the point or of course here the alternative is uh, call directly tabs one 
Here I will say uh, tabs two. Here tabs. Okay, let's see how it goes. Oh, you see? Three map, icicle, sunburst, and sun key. Nice. That's a tab control. And uh, that's the way you build it. And you see the two different ways of uh, two different ways of uh, uh, using it with a with uh, keyword or without the with keyword when you pass directly a value. Uh, what you can do also, you can say T1, T2, T3, T4. So initialize it this way, and then you will have uh, with T1 you do this, uh, with uh, T2, uh, with T3, with uh, T4. Okay, so yeah. let's make sure it's refreshed, it is. Yeah, you get the same result. Be aware that we've seen before in our uh, streamlit uh, architectural diagram for the front end that the layout components are in fact uh, static uh, containers for the other controls, for both input interactive controls and uh, output rendering controls. Uh, when I'm saying uh, they are static components, this means that, uh, yes, they may have dynamic behavior, but programmatically, uh, in Streamlit, they don't throw events and uh, you cannot capture events. So, for instance, uh, if you switch a tab control to your new tab page, uh, you cannot control this uh, from your program. You cannot uh, determine to fill in uh, the page uh, only when that page uh, becomes uh, visible. There are not so many layout components. So uh, learn them and uh, use them. Uh, they are, in fact, very simple. Uh, with a minimalistic approach of Streamlit, uh, they are very easy to use. And uh, look, uh, the next slide, uh, you can use it as a cheat sheet if you want. But uh, until then, uh, let's review them one by one. Uh, sidebar, uh, you have a collapsible left sidebar. And this, is, uh, this can be only one. Unlike all the other components here, you cannot create the sidebar. The sidebar is already there. You can specify if you want it initially expanded. Uh, when you populate it with uh, controls, uh, it will be it will start automatically expanded, and uh, you can uh, collapse it and expand it anytime if uh, it is not empty. So uh, unlike other controls, uh, you'll see uh, when you let's say write something in the sidebar, uh, you have to say st dot sidebar dot write st tabs. Yeah, that's a group of tab pages uh, as we've seen before. And you have to pass uh, an array uh, with uh, uh, page header names. ST columns, that's a group of side-by-side uh, -side, uh, horizontal containers. Uh, we experimented with uh, Expander, which is a collapsible container, collapsed by default. Uh, ST container, will create a multi-element container. ST empty, it's a single element placeholder with text replace. Uh, we'll just see next uh, how uh, they all work. I created a screen with uh, all these uh, different types of components here. Let's have a look. On top, we have a container that you usually create with uh, ST container. Uh, I have a demo here. If you write first in outside the second in, you see, and you reference the container, for the SD write outside there, for anything that you write outside the container, it will not appear in the container. So that's a proper way of uh, instantiating the container and, and then referring to this container whenever you want to do something uh, inside. SD tabs. As we've seen before, yeah, definitely you can pass an array of uh, uh, page names and uh, you can uh, refer to individual pages instantiated this way uh, to write something within or to, to populate the content. 
The expander, that's a collapsible panel, as we've seen before, and by default, expanded is, uh, expanded is false. Yeah, so uh, it will be collapsed by default. Uh, the way you, you use it is, yeah, definitely you can use a with syntax, as we've seen before, or uh, the instantiated variable. And here on top, you have a collapsed container. At the bottom, you have an expanded container. Yeah, it's uh, expanding, and this is expanded. As I said, uh, columns uh, will create uh, horizontal panels, yeah, because by default, you can see the panels, uh, containers are uh, laid out uh, one below the other. So we need something like this if you want to create multiple columns. Let's see empty. This is interesting because uh, this will create one single cell. If you already wrote something with uh, ST write, let's say, in that cell, the next ST write with, will overwrite what you had before there. So uh, the text will no longer appear one below the other, the way it happens in a regular container. The sidebar. As I said, uh, you have to use a slightly different syntax here because you have only one sidebar. So uh, this is like a static uh, object. You, you cannot create uh, multiple objects because this can be only one and uh, it is already there always. So uh, in this case, uh, let's say uh, if you create a, a select box, normally you, you do it with st.selects box, as we'll see next time. But uh, in this case, if you create it in the sidebar, you have to say uh, ST sidebar select box. Or, yeah, of course, you can use uh, always a with syntax, with ST sidebar, and right below have something like ST select box. Mm -hmm.